only at the Indianapolis Zoo. Hi there, my name is Kyle and I am a plainskeeper here at the Indianapolis Zoo. And I am here with our three ostrich. Uh, we have Roscoe, who is our male. He is the easily identified one. He is a black individual with a dark red beak. And then we have Doris, who is right here. You can tell her apart from Rudy. She has a little bit more white on her. Also, her head's a little bit bigger. That's the easiest way to tell these guys apart. Um, ostriches, these guys are what is called a ratite, which just means large, flightless birds. These guys are interesting. They are the only bird species out here that in the world that have two toes. Every other bird has more than that. Now, ostriches are very, very interesting because they lay large eggs. They're about three pounds, three and a half, and they will lay them in communal nests and they will uh, be able to kind of work together with a dominant female kind of <laughs> taking care of the eggs and kind of making sure that the rest of the eggs are um, protected from predators. The females will lay on the nest during the day because of their drab uh, feathers. They will kind of blend in with the grasses out there versus the males who end up laying on them at night because they are dark and they can kind of blend in at nighttime. Now, ostriches are very, very fast. They can spurt up to 40 miles an hour, um, but usually cruising speed is normally more like 35. Um, but yeah, they really, really enjoy here at the zoo grapes. It is their favorite snack, and uh, that's what they're kind of enjoying on right now. However, these guys in the wild would be eating a lot of other vegetables fruits, vegetables, um, and a lot of grasses. However, they wouldn't say no to a nice um, invertebrate, insects, small lizards, things like that. Now, these guys do have um, a misconception. They do not put their heads in the sand when they are scared. That is completely a myth. That is not something that they, these guys do. When they are scared, they will use those big feet and run away or protect themselves by kicking their enemies. Now, another thing about these guys is that they are usually somewhere between six and nine feet tall. So these guys are about um, seven-ish. All of our ostrich are about the same size height-wise. Um, but yeah, Roscoe over here and Doris, they are about three years old, whereas Rudy is about five. These guys, uh, they do have predators out in the wild. Um, when they are adults, lions, leopards, um, a group of male cheetahs, um, hyenas, African wild dogs are all things that might end up trying to predate on an adult. However, they're much more likely to be predated upon as youngsters um, when they are pretty darn small. And things like jackals, some large vulture species, any of the other large cats would also attempt to nab a small individual or even an egg. Um, however, like I said earlier, these guys will usually try to outrun them or defend themselves, placing a nice hard kick to defend themselves. Now, these guys also um, mostly live in the savannas of Africa, but then they'll also live in semi-arid and true desert. On behalf of our three ostriches here at the Indianapolis Zoo, we cannot wait for you guys to return. We miss you guys a lot, and we know the ostriches miss you too. Thanks. <laughs>